The Department of Homeland Security just issued a report and said that even in light of no wall, the number of arrests and removals of illegal immigrants are up over 40 percent. The ICE officials on the border have effectively said that the president has taken off their gloves and the numbers are way down, yet the wall the ICE founder is saying needs to be done. From your opinion, I don't know if you can quantify this in any way, but when you consider the illegal immigration that has so dominated the country, and right now there are some numbers are 8 million. I don't know if we actually know how many, but nonetheless, it's been extensive. What kind of a negative impact do you think illegal immigration has actually had economically? And what would happen if those individuals were actually sent back home? I mean, right now I'm reading, for instance, uh, William, one out of six uh, graduating high school students, whatever, can't have a job or can't find a job, something like 20 percent. Would illegal immigrants being this whole problem being fixed actually make that much of a difference to economic gains? You know, I, I, right now there's a tremendous amount of job openings in the United States, but we, we have an unskilled labor force uh, that has to be educated into the uh, spaces uh, that, that, that actually are open. Um, you know, there's a dichotomy that's taking place. You know, we, we have the lowest rates of unemployment, uh, for a very long period of time. And yet we have, we have thou- hundreds of thousands of jobs that are open. We just don't have people who are qualified to do the jobs. And so there's an education process that needs to take place. And there's, and there's really a financial crisis amongst, uh, um, universities out there, private universities, public universities right now of getting students to come on, uh, board. And there's also, there's this, um, you know, if you take a look at, for example, psychiatry, if you look at how many psychiatrists are going to retire in the next 10 years versus how many they're going into school, there's a very big difference. So I think that really the wall it being built itself is really not going to affect the bottom line of our unemployment numbers. Uh, a lot of these people that are coming over are doing a lot of jobs that the United States yep. citizens don't want to do. Uh, 